Are you kidding? Are you recording? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. This is a reunion of the Galants, uh, all together, new cousins. Uh, well, we'll introduce yourselves. What's your name? Brenda Babylon. Yeah. Lisa Britt. Jane Cox. Chelsea Groves. Larry Cox. Robin Park Courier. All right. This is my cousin. Lauren Laura. Conroy. This is the future. Well, he's the boyfriend. <laughs> At this That's point. My dad, <laughs> and my brother, Steve. And I'm Peter. Yes. Hi, Terry. All right. Hi, All right. Uh, so, I went to visit here probably about, what was that, Brady? 12 years ago? So, this is Tignish, Prince Edward Island. Yeah. This is where Alfred was born, right here in this little thing. So, when, when I went over there, uh, it was beautiful. It's like Cape Cod. So, we were asking people, why did you leave? And they said the economy was so bad. They didn't even have a, a, money, a monetary system. They didn't have electricity until like the 50s. Wow. So then they, wow. they left. But uh, I've got a picture of uh, Julia. Oh, you messed up my pictures. I did, I'm so sorry. What's that? I, I did. <laughs> I was digging Julia through. Oh, here she mother. is. Oh. So, so they had, uh, that family had a, Julia was the oldest. And then they had Archie, Hubert, and Jack, and Uncle Jack. Uh, Uncle Jack. I don't know what orders they're in, and, and Aunt Mary. So that's then. So then what happened when Julia was 16, she got pregnant. And uh, it's almost similar to what happened with, with Alfred. So what happened is she went away. I don't know where she went away to. She had the baby. And then when she, after the baby, she came back. And they presented it as this is your new little brother. <laughs> so they grew up, and Alfred was the little brother. And uh, so you can take a look at these pictures here. Yeah. And you can take pictures of those things. <clears throat> so then the family, uh, I don't know how, what year, but they eventually moved down here to Exodus. So most of the glance. They moved to Exodus. Exodus. So yeah. they're all <laughs> born and raised in Exodus. And I have pictures of. Uh, mm -hmm. Um, all the brothers here somewhere. Well, we'll point them out. And so they all moved down there, including including Alfred. And, uh, you know, raised up in Exeter, went to the schools in Exeter. <clears throat> and then later on is um, when Julia, she married someone named uh, Harold Ham. Is that right? Yep. Harold Ham. And actually, what? if you look on that front of that Ham. furniture, you see Harold H. Ham? And I always wonder. Do you know that name? Was he married to Sharon? Right he was there. married to Julia Gallant. Oh, wait a minute. This is a long time ago. Yeah, this is. Okay. Yeah, 19. Oh, I know Last him. century. I know a Harold <laughs> Ham. <laughs> Last century, at least. So she married uh, Harold Ham, and then she went on and had another child. So then Harold Ham was somewhat well off. And he died, and Julie was the widow. And then when Julia died, they went to the funeral, and the, one of the older brothers said, that wasn't your, that wasn't your sister. That's your mother. So he thought Julia was his oldest sister the whole time, 16 years old. So then they said, hey, that's your, that's your mother, and you're entitled to half that inheritance because the only person left was Dickie here. So he ended up inheriting certain things and maybe, uh, maybe the house that you grew up in. So they just, if we had time, we'd show you the house was just around the corner. We lived down the street. So we go to visit. So then, um, and before that, he married my grandmother, uh, Rose. She was from Newmarket, Irish woman. So they, uh, they, so they got married and had two kids. They had uh, my mother was the oldest, um, Betty, and then six years later, six five years, five years later, and her dad, uh, Kenny, and they grew up um, pretty much in the same house, which was not too far away. And uh, so we have, we'll have we have pictures of their family. So then uh, my grandmother on the Irish side, her name was Rose. She died when she was only 52. And I was only, like, it was about 1960. There's actually an obituary there. Yeah, I was 58. I was three months old. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, and actually right here, I do have baby pictures of Alfred. <laughs> so Is this your grandfather? You're this is your to grandfather, or? too. This is Alfred when he was okay, a baby. Okay, I meant as, as opposed to... Yeah. yeah. So, we, so that's, yeah. that's a picture of Alfred when he was... You can call him Allie? So yeah, I call I him Grampy, but we all call him... Well, I call, well, I call him Grampy. 
and then um, and then he passed away in 1967. His 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 obituary. He was 65 years old. Uh, but what a, what happened is after my grandmother died, um, he ended up remarrying. And then after he, he remarried, this woman ironically wanted to move to Florida. So he sold everything, sold the house to your dad, sold and moved to Florida. And within six months, they had a joint checking account. This woman emptied out the checking mm -hmm. account. Oh, oh yeah. Disappeared. Was that Maud? Oh, did you know her name? Well, yeah, I met the witch. Okay. Her name was Maud. <laughs> yeah. M A U D E, I know. What right. was her last name? So, you know? Galant. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so, <laughs> so she disappeared. And he came home essentially penniless yeah. and lived at our house for a while. And then he just lived the rest of the life living on Social Security. But uh, So that's his obituary. That's Alfred's obituary? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. And, um, oh, these are, the, these are the brothers. Well, Uncle Ed. Oh, uh, yeah. I this, know. It's like, you got to do the quote. Right. Yeah, so... <laughs> He thought these were his brothers, and oh, these are yeah. uncles. So there's, there's uh, oh, Allie, there's, and what he thought were his brothers oh, and aunt, uh, uh, sister. So they turned out to be his, his actually his aunt. Yeah, aunt and uncle. So there's, there's three of them. So, so what we kind of figured out, what year was your father born? 24. So, so my grandfather was born in... Two, 1902. Right. So, so when he was 21, you got your grandmother pregnant. It was 19. And, and she was from Exeter. Yeah. Yeah. So what happened was is. Brentwood. She was from Brentwood. Okay. She. Uh, she was right next to Exeter. Exeter. Um, they lived on. They and she yeah. went to. Uh, so he was 21. She she went to Florida and had the baby. Working on. Named him Alfred. Oh my God. Yeah. And then came <laughs> back. Ring pops. And then you can go on with the next story. So and then she, just do she it in the, him the weather that I'm allowed to come on. And our father and her yeah. parents who had a farm in Brentwood. Okay. And they stayed. Oh, no. That was just what I was asking. And that house is still there. Uh, no, I, I didn't know any of this. Yeah. How does that go on you? Yeah. Um, after our father, Alfred, was yeah. born, our grandmother, Carol, came back to New Hampshire and kept him at his grandparents' house on his mother's side, which was Gar's side. Yeah. And he, all his better memories were at that farm. Dad talked about that farm like all the time. Mm. Um, and then eventually, Carol, my father's mother, yeah. married Harold Cop and brought my father into the fold, and then they had two more siblings. Yeah. Yeah. So you wonder how they introduced Alfred back into the family? Your well, father. as her son. Okay. But, but also, I, I'm assuming that they said that it was Harold's son as well. Harold Yes. Yes. They got married. Yes. They got okay. married. He was born March 3rd, 1924, and he was... They got married like March 17th, 1925. Okay. So, and then. Um, I wonder how they met. Like, I, had they dated much before they got married? I don't know. And, like, one of the questions is did he ever know that he had a son? You know, because your mom. Yeah, she, 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 she told She told a lot, a lot of things. It was nothing to hide from my mom. Like, for example, when I was about 20, she goes, she just all of a sudden, she goes, well, your Uncle Jack was praying for a $3 bill. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. You know, he wore <laughs> four coats, he had a lot of rings, and it just never dawned on me. He was just a sweet old uncle, like like the Wizard of Oz, you know, just that type of personality. So she, she would always come forward with uh, whatever she knew. And that was never, I mean, she if she knew she had an older brother, she would have. Definitely. Yeah. Everybody. Dad had no idea until it was 1984, um, and his aunt got yeah. no, um, yeah. on her deathbed. 
Was it Dell? Yes. Yeah. I thought not Dell. Both of them knew that he was going to Florida. And I can all take you into the details or not, but they, uh, she told me that he uh, was going to Florida. So we looked it up, found his birth certificate, said his father's name was Alfred Gallant, and the big red letters said illegitimate hmm. on the birth certificate. Hmm. And so his mother died, I want to say shortly thereafter. She was still alive, but he never confronted her. Mm. So he never, and he never knew because on all, like all his his, his enlistment papers, his first degree, everything says that he not the first degree, but all his military papers um, says that he was born in Haverhill, Mass. And that Harold Pop is his father. My auntie Gail. And my mom and dad mm -hmm. got married. Aunt Adeline always had her oatmeal cream pie with a cloth and cheese bowl. And my mother had always told me that that my dad was treated differently than his other two siblings. Mm. Treated very, very differently. And he got out of the service when he married my mom, and he was enrolled into UNH, and he needed his birth certificate. And his mother. Carol would not give him his birth certificate. So she went to UNH with it in her hand and did the paperwork okay. without showing him. And then they Dale? divorced and, and my dad married Brenda's or mom who was a widow. Yeah. And then they had her friends. Okay. Um, and then when dad was trying to collect his social security, there was, there was problems with that. And he'd always remembered that his mom always told this story about going to Daytona. That was like the big deal to her. I went to Daytona, Florida, when I was really young. So they kind of put my stepmother at the time, put it together, and dad looked it up, and that's how we found this diversity. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's pretty interesting. Yeah? So uh, we, have a, we have a sister who passed away in 2001. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I, this picture is her. Oh. What was her name? Her name was Gail. Gail. So, so my, my mom was married right after high school. Dad was in the service and had Steve That's and Gail. Cool. And she was divorced in like 52 and then and, and, uh, married my father. And, and, Okay. So that's how we get the Clark and Ann and Ann's. But he, you know, he was my brother growing up. Right. So, same same yeah, Clark yeah. was my father. I had no family. choice in the matter. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. I had no choice. Yeah. And uh, so while we got my father's sense of humor. Yeah, our father was one of the nicest, yeah. yeah. funniest yeah. people. You, his funeral. Like, I think the whole state of New Hampshire came to his funeral. And it was just, he just yeah. was very loved Actually, by everybody that ever met him. I don't know him. how he's organizing. Um, no one ever had a dad, and, and he was funny. Mm. Cracking jokes and okay. making up words for people, and we try to carry that on by with the words he used to use and what he used to call his sons and what he used to call his daughters. Yeah, we all had we all had a Angelina Camerazzi, Josephine Fidjigini. That was Roscoe. 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 Oh, yeah. And Lane was Yashu Pandosi. <laughs> what? These were all names that he learned in Italy. It's like a vodka soda in a can? Yeah. Not that strong. Yeah. Yeah. Four point five. Yeah. And then he was over at the Lincoln Center. Yeah. Yeah. And he was part of the campaign. Um, that took over Beaver Ridge in yeah. Mount Belvedere. Oh, wow. um, you see that one of Gail? Army. Army. Yeah. 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 And then he got shot. Mm -hmm. And he was in, he got admitted, we just learned this, he was admitted to the okay. World War II hospital. Right? Which hospital? It, it said World War II uh, hospital, military hospital. In April of 1945. And then he was discharged in June of 1945. I'm assuming when it's his discharge, he went to the military. Yeah. Um, because then he, uh, he re-enlisted, right? Yes, he did. Re-enlisted during peacetime. Right? Yes, and he was, a, he was a photographer. He was also a professional, very talented photographer. And we kids have a lot of pictures, which is kind of unusual, because back then, 
fifties and sixties, they didn't do that. But he one more, one more, he'd say one more, one more. Yeah, yeah. we're so yeah. blessed that we have, yeah. and you always lined us up according to age. Julie, Robin, Brenda, Blaine, and Larry. That's you know, Julie. Unfortunately, he lost her two years ago mm. to, to cancer. So then, when he married my mom and he reenlisted, they lived in New Mexico. And he was the photographer that used to fly up in the planes to um, see where the war zones were. Hmm. From they flew him Hello? over to some place. Hi, Peachy. And mm -hmm. he, this yeah. is, he, and then he had his son. own photography company oh, too. Oh, cool. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. I was talking to. What do I got? You and I, I got the widow's peak. Is that what it is? That's our widow's peak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Oh, yeah, you got it hard, Peter. I got the widow's peak. I got to hug you. Oh, widow peak these, present. These are all my new first cousins. Our father had a widow's peak, and I'm the only one who got it. Okay, so that's Lauren. We're doing the Grover family. Who knows Lauren? Yeah, you missed it. You must have all helped. It's all on tape. Oh, okay. So I can watch the video? We'll put it on YouTube. Get the note. Yeah. So they had a family of seven. So this, how, how did this all come about to you? Just here, well, her and I. <laughs> yeah. Well, just, and I just said, and she found out that her grandfather's name was Alfred. Well, that, yeah, okay. we knew that his name was Alfred Gallant, but yeah. we never, ever explored anything. And then when your dad sent me a message through Ancestry, said, hey, you know, was, did your grandfather have any name Gallant? Oh my gosh, right? Yeah. I was like, oh, oh, we always wanted to open. know my dad's yeah. sign. He's opened yeah. a few gates, so, yeah. You know. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and so, her her father was Kenny, my, mm -hmm. my uncle. So, Betty's brother. brother. So, they had an older brother they didn't know about. Mm -hmm. No, so, yeah. Wow. So, you yeah. can figure yeah. that out. Well, he's talking early. Brittany, you can, you can you stop. You pop one out early.